basically what I was saying is the proof about this the so deification of Jesus are are the uh, scriptures created and approved of by the church <laughs> so it's like you know it's like asking if you put someone on trial for embezzlement and you know what's the proof that they did or didn't do the embezzlement documents that the embezzler creates yeah the <laughs> manufacturer <laughs> yes yeah, like you know of course the, the the one who's being accused of embezzlement doesn't believe he's an embezzler and he's going to produce you know he's going to give you some documents showing i didn't embezzle anything so it's like you know you're you're letting the the criminal uh be the judge and the jury so Ahmed, what's what's on your mind what's on your mind well i'm actually looking into the religion islam okay and obviously reflecting on christianity and judaism being the abrahamic faiths and uh, in examining Islam, the first verse I understand is the reading the name of your Lord. And as as I read that verse, I basically stopped reading and uh, went on a mission to seek what is the name of the Lord, because the the thing is, if you're given something to read that is not in the name of your Lord, then it's not from your Lord. And I presume that is why the first verse in the Quran is um, reading the name, or should I say, the first revelation of the Quran is reading the name of your Lord. Oh, and, technically, uh, it's, it's uh, Ikra. Ikra uh, bismi rabbika. Yeah, rub, rub. Yeah, Lord. Well, yeah. So yes, I'm yes, asking, yes, who, yes, but you who, can expand that, that definition. Who, who is at the time of that revelation had a revelation, a book? Um, from God to read in the name of God. At that time when that revelation was uh, expounded, there was no book. There was no Quran. The, the word Ikra, it has three meanings, right? So it means to literally read. You can read a book by reading a book. But it also means to recite or proclaim. So, uh, and if you notice, that's what we do with the Quran. We read the Quran, literally read the book. We recite the Quran and we also do the Dawah and share Islam with people based on what the Quran is saying. So when they're saying read in the name of your Lord, um, obviously the prophet peace be upon him being chosen by our creator to be a prophet, the final messenger of our creator. Uh, it's clear that to him who he spoke, who, who he was speaking to and Alhamdulillah, as the Quran was further expounded upon, uh, the, in, the, the being that was being referred to in through the word rub w is clear that it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our God our creator who's unique and within and of himself and there's nothing and no one like him so obviously the verse is being revealed to the prophet peace be upon him um, when Allah says in the Quran that he's closer to us than our own juggler vein that means he knows all that we reveal all that we conceal so he knows that the prophet peace be upon him was worshiping him and so he's sending the guidance through the angel jabril and saying read recite proclaim in the name of your lord not literally read a book because we know the prophet was uh, illiterate but again it, it has a, a three different meanings uh, it has multiple meanings so, so in other words that you know just you read one Read can be one translation of the term, but also to recite can be a, a translation of the term, or to proclaim it can be a, re a accurate interpretation of the term as well. And they so all, it doesn't, it's not restricted to reading a codex. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're all fully encompassing. So uh, again, that those verses were revealed to the prophet, but that's, it didn't just stop there. I mean, obviously, um, you know, Allah says in the Quran, Kul Allahu Ahad, Allahu Asamad, Say, tell, telling the people, the prophet to initially say, telling the people, but then the people also reciting the verses in the prayer, just like, I mean, that what I just re recited was part of the prayer. All, all of the Quran is recited in the prayer, but the verses that I just said in English are, uh, for the, it, sa it says literally, say, cool, say that Allah is the one and only God, the eternal, the absolute. He begets not, nor is to be gotten, and there's nothing that compares to him. So there's clear statements that make it clear uh, who um, 
the Lord is, the Rabb is. So um, you should have kept reading, brother. No, I'm, I'm, I'm reading, actually. In fact, I haven't stopped. But I, I want to place this um, this verse in context of uh, Cave Era and the actual first revelation from uh, the angel Jibril to uh, the prophet Muhammad. And, so, uh, 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 before you could, before you want to go further, can, 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 can I ask you a question? No, if um, you allow me to speak. Yeah, can I ask you a question before you uh, go into your thing? Um, when you say, you asked, uh, you were wondering, uh, what's the name of this Lord? Um, what does that mean exactly? What, it, what, what was the, what's the, what's the main point? Well, my, my point is that the first revelation in Islam is a declaration to read Iqra. Now, it's a, it's a very profound uh, a revelation. It doesn't say, I am God, your Lord, all powerful. And if you don't obey me, I'm going to send you to hell. It doesn't proclaim to be a, a super being or some kind of special entity. It just says read. And it's a very profound word to use in Revelation. Yes, if you want to come out of darkness, if you want to come out of darkness, you don't listen to somebody reciting, you read. You actually go and equip yourself with the tools to, um, to gain knowledge. And uh, uh, any, any person who goes to university, you don't say we're learning or we're studying. They tell you we're reading engineering, medicine. So the process of reading is in actual fact a form of self-education. So the revelation says, read in the name of your Lord and the prophets, obviously not being a, 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 a red person, because Mada Bakari, he I can't read. And he refer, again repeats, read. And again, I can't read. Read. And again, I can't read. So the context there is, is very emphatic that it's not a recitation. It's not a recitation that has been asked for. Because yeah, brother, it brother, it is. So let, let me explain it to you. Okay, so obviously, when the prophet was going to the cave of Hira, right, he's going there to meditate. The prophet, peace be upon him, he never worshipped any other false idol or, or anything like that. He always worshipped worship Allah. So his Lord was already Allah. And Allah was fully aware of that. Now, how he, how he worshipped, he hadn't yet received revelation from... Uh, from Allah through the angel Jibril, so his form of worship we don't have we don't have uh, information about that. But his Lord was already Allah, and so he would go and he would contemplate, he would think, he would ponder point, on what my, was what was going. Bear with me one sec. Bear with me one sec. Okay, so he would go and he would he would spend time alone, and uh, and he would contemplate on Allah and things going on in the world and so forth. He, he, he didn't like what he was seeing in society, for one. And the angel Jabril comes to him. And yes, he does tell him three times. And it, it, he finally has to embrace him to let him know that I am real. I am really here. You're not just imagining this. I am here. And so, Ikra, Bismillah Rabbaka Aladiyakallah. Right? What does it mean? Read in the name of your Lord. Read, yeah. for your Lord is the most gracious, who taught man yeah, by the pen. He taught man that which he did not know. 